Um, all right, if nobody's got any more questions on Chapter 4, I, I want to cut it uh, pretty soon here, but I, I want to just barely touch on Chapter 5 because, like I said, it is going to be kind of a doozy for a lot of people. Um, so I'm just going to barely, barely touch on it. We'll, we'll end up going over a lot of this, like probably spending the whole next session. Uh, once again, I will not be here Monday. Do not show up on Monday, or you will be alone here, or you and whoever shows up. Uh, but next, one week from today, next Friday, we'll start back up again and start right here on Chapter 5. Um, chapter 5, IP at the network layer. The reason I want to get into this is because of uh, binary. Um, I'm not going to go real deep on like all the individual slides, but as far as like counting in binary, um, you're gonna have to learn how to do it. Um, binary is a, well, we'll just go from this slide. So it's a computer language with values of zero or one. A, a computer is, you know, it's, it's made up of transistors, so it's, it's only got values of on or off. So you have to, um, you know, formulate a series of zero ones, zeros and ones to make, um, you know, a language that, that humans can understand. So uh, binary is converted to decimal or hexadecimal so humans can easily understand and read it. Binary is all about powers of two. Um, being able to count in powers of two, at least up to like 256, is going to be key. You know, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024. You know, as far as you can go, um, you, you don't really have to know quite that far. I would know up to 1024, but definitely for the test, you should know up to right past 128 to 256. Um, so I kind of think of binary as a, um, when, we, when you think of like the odometer in a car, um, you know, you go from digits, you know, zero through nine, and then it rolls over and another digit comes across. It's the same thing with binary, but it's only based on two. So, you know, you get it, well, that's not gonna come out very well. You get it <laughs> two, I knew I should have got a William's little pad. I might do that next time so I can actually write on this. You know, you get a zero, you know, yeah, that is that is not working. That is that is atrocious. Maybe I should turn down the. There's a laser pointer. Yeah, that's not. Or you can use the light. that's that actually probably would be a lot easier. The way I learned it is, you know, I came up in the fire alarm industry, and they had had switches that were on or off, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's and that's exactly. You've got transistors, or you know, like on the, some of those, you've got little dip switches. It's just on, on or off. So you're one. So um, I'm gonna start with just four bits. Zeros, obviously, the, the equivalent to that is going to be zero or decimal. So, you know, you've got one, you've got one, two. And so, since there's no more, there's no more room for this to go, you got to go over the next bit. So, two is going to be something like that. So, you've got one, two, and then three. You're back to filling this bit. Step uh, all the bits are filled up. You've got to move on to here. So four, and you like that, and so on and so forth. So four, five, six, seven. All the bits are filled up. Decimal is, um, you know, so binary is a, a two-base system. Decimal is a ten-base system. Uh, hexadecimal is going to be a sixteen-base system. So hexadecimal is actually each each character is represented four bits. So you guys see, we got down to we got down to eight right here. Well, so for for hex, since you're going up to 16, your uh, your bits are going to stop at nine as far as decimal goes. So when you get to 10, you 
On my <clears throat> subnetting is so intertwined with binary, um, and I know like on my CCNA exam, I had at least six or seven questions that were directly related to um, you know binary or subnetting or hexadecimal, and then probably you know six or seven that were directly related, and then at least another four or five that were indirectly related. So there's no way you're going to be able to pass the exam without. You know, understanding binary, understanding hexadecimal, and understanding the conversions between the two um, and how those work out in subnetting. Um, so that's just a very small taste of what we're going to do next time. Hopefully, I'll bring in a pad so we can actually write in uh, non five year old characters. So. But we'll cut it short there. So I'll see you guys like next Friday. Cool. So I put the Autobots right.